Hello again today, everybody. We're going to design a barn today on our 3D, 3D custom design modeling software. We get a lot of requests about these barn styles. We have a couple different types that I'm going to go through. Um, we're going to kind of build one from one of our styles today. But before that, go ahead and subscribe down below so that you can see all the buildings that we make on the modeler here that our customers request the design for. Um, we come out and install these on your property, on your level site. And let's get started here. So we're going to start with this building here. We always start in style. I want to start with a couple different styles here as far as our barn types go. This manufacturer has one that's called the Carolina Barn. Um, you can see that this barn here, it has a center building that has a vertical style roof. So the corrugated metal runs from the ridge down to the eave. And then on the lean-tos, it runs from where it connects to the side of the lean-to down to the eave of the lean-to. So that's a vertical style roof. Now you notice that the roof pitches are different on these. This is a 312 pitch. This is a 212 pitch. You can order the lean-tos to be the 312 pitch to match the pitch of the roof. And that's what this Seneca barn is here. So technically there is a center building, which is this portion here with a 312 pitch. And then there's two lean-tos on the side of this with a 312 pitch. So that gives us the 312 pitch from the ridge of the center building all the way down to the eave of the lean-to. Now this kind of makes this look like one big building. Let me show you here. Let's put a side and a front on this thing. Uh, wing closed. And then uh, fully closed. Back lean to go to the front fully enclosed. So now you can see that this building, the front of it, when fully enclosed, it looks like a a free span building. But when you actually turn it around and look at the inside, it is not a free span building. Now when it does do the measurement down here, it does account for that. It shows what the outside to outside is on these buildings, which is 36. And then 21 is the roof measurement again from front to back, but there is six inches of overhang, so the footprint is 20. So that's a couple different types of these barns, but the type that we want to start with today is the horse barn. I do want to build one of these. It's called the horse barn. Uh, I think that's just the name that the manufacturer gives it. Uh, it's not necessarily intended specifically for horses. This is the design that pops up in our designer with the two garage doors in the open bay. And then the back is closed in. Now it is a regular style roof, meaning that it is curved. The trusses or bows are curved on the outside edge. So the metal on the corrugation runs front to back. So that way it can curve over that truss or that bow. We're going to modify this building substantially today, but I am going to start here with this uh, horse barn uh, pre-populated building. We're not going to build from scratch today. Let's take these doors out, remove those. Then I go to the build the barn that we uh, seen in the first. And then I want to close this front end because we're actually going to put a garage door here. Let's go down the sides, and we're going to leave the size alone today. We're just going to change how this building is closed in and some of the doors, and then I'm going to show you some frame outs that we do on this building and how to do that in our builder. It gets kind of confusing in our builder sometimes of how those are done. So let's go change the colors so our colors are the way we want them. I'm going to do a brown roof and brown trim. And then we're going to change the end walls and the sides to beige. So this is kind of a popular color scheme here with the brown and the beige. 
Okay, so now we've got a shell here. We've got it all closed in. And you can see we've got our center building and then our two lean-tos on each side. But when you just look at it, it kind of looks like one building overall. Barn-style building. Let's just go back to additional options. Uh, we do want to certify this building. It doesn't change anything necessarily on how it looks on the modeler, but it does change the price. Uh, the certification, again, gives you your wind and your weight load, which in some municipalities and localities, they're going to require you to have a certain wind and weight load, and they're going to want that building certified to that wind and weight load. So that's what this does. Um, it provides ground anchors that gives you the wind load and then extra hardware on the bracing that gives you that weight load. So but it will be stamped, engineered, certified. Okay, so let's go down to doors, because this is kind of how we really want to structure this building as far as to make it um, a horse barn. Most horse barns are fully closed, but we want to be able to get in and out of them with the horses and maybe some equipment and hay. So we're going to put a 10 by 8 certified door here on the front. And then... On the back here, so we have some air circulating through and we can move some equipment drive through on this. I'm going to put a 9 by 8 certified door back here. And the reason why is I want to have a walkthrough door on this end as well. So we're going to move that over and then place a walk-in door here. So that way the entry on this building at least at some point can can be through a walkthrough door. And it's possible to put a walkthrough door on this end. We just have to move the door out of center and put a walkthrough door. But I'm going to kind of leave it, this door on center. I like how that looks on center. So then let's move to the lean-tos. Um, for circulation on these horse stalls, we're going to put some windows. It's pretty simple. We're just going to do some small 30 by 30s. That way, during the hot Time. We can open these up over here on the left lean to on the front put a window pretty simple it centers it populated populates it to center um, and we could put windows on this side if we wanted in each stall if you wanted to do that you could also put a door here if you wanted a frame out on this side um, let's say for each stall you wanted to have a 6x6, six six, or you could even do a 4x6. Actually, let's do that. Let's say custom size. Four by five. There we go. So there's a, a four by five on that. So you could do one for each stall, which in this model here there's one two three four five or you could make them uh, each ten foot one stall which means you'd have two and a half stalls but I'm gonna show you both ways here so let's take this out we're not gonna actually use that as a permanent thing here so now <clears throat> now that we have let's go back here so now we have our outside of our building then we've got the the front roll-up door the windows for Ventilation, we've got a back roll up door and a walkthrough door here. Now, what we want to do, because on the inside of this building, you can see that we have our uprights for our center building. Now, they're five foot on center, like our standards would be, but there's also a base rail here, and we may not want that base rail there. So, I'm going to show you how to do frame mounts on this center building on the inside when you have lean tos already on this. So, what we're going to do is select the center building, and then we go to the we turn the building so we can see the underside, and then we're able to select that side wall. Then we can put a frame out here. So our frame out is going to be a custom size. And let's frame it out to be four wide because our 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 uprights are five wide. So let's do four wide, and then let's do seven tall. So this gives us a foot of header room. Actually, two foot of header room because we've got a nine foot wall there. Okay, so let's clone it. Two, three, four, and 
five. Okay, so now we've got five, so then we can space them here. You can kind of get this exact if you want, but I'm just going to kind of space them in between so we can see how they kind of look. Space this one. silly on me there. Okay, so that kind of gives us some spacing. So you can kind of see how that how that looks there. Now, let's go around to this other side. Ooh. And let's do a frame out of here. I'm going to do something a little different over here. I'm going to assume that there's two stalls in this building. And we want a a custom opening. And let's do a 10 foot wide opening. So 10 foot wide. And let's do the same height. Let's do seven. Seven foot high. Boom. Now that gives us a 10 foot wide opening. So what a person could do is when you get this in there, you can actually put a 10 foot gate across this opening, and then let's clone it. So that way you could have two stalls. What does a person have to do is build your, 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 your stall in between, and then you can make this into a two stall barn uh, on this side. So maybe you have a few small stalls on this side, a few big stalls on this side, um, and that gives you what that looks like there. Uh, this one, see how that one shows? It, uh, must have moved up a little bit, so let's move it down. And there we go. So let's go back here. And there you can see how we put frame outs on the inside structure of these. Oops. You can see how we put them on the inside here of the barn. So there's uh, a horse barn built from the, uh, the model. There's a front, back. So you can use that pre-populated uh, model or up here at the top, top barn size. You can do horse barn, Carolina barn, Seneca barn, and then it will automatically populate um, some of these features or you can build it from scratch. Um, this is just one way. So if you like this video or you know someone that's needing a, a metal barn, Go ahead and share it with them. Like the video. Uh, subscribe with us so you can continue to watch us build metal buildings on our 3D custom design. Uh, you can go on our website and request a live 3D custom design. Um, and we can actually sit down and, and build the barn that you would want on your property. Just go to mondohomes.com. So that's M-O-N-D-O-H-O-M-Z.com. Or you can call us at 573-375-5753. And we can set up a time to uh, talk about your barn. We're in most of the lower 48, so just give us a ring. And thank you very much.